Uh, firstly, I'm I'm very sort of relieved to 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 hear that you are uh, and not surprised, but just relieved uh, to hear this kind of unequivocal uh, anger at what happened at the Red Fort from you. But I want to push you a little bit on the Deep Sindhu question, and I push you this because uh, quite by accident, I had no idea who this gentleman was uh, a few weeks ago when I happened to interview him. I saw a viral video of his. He seemed to be very politely uh, talking to a policeman at a barricade. I've tried to find out who this man was. I called him to my program. I interviewed him. And I got into a raging argument with him about Bhindran Wale. A number of my liberal friends were upset with me. They thought that I had uh, diverted the attention from the farmer's issue. But I actually expected him to simply uh, disassociate himself from Bhindran Wale and return to the farmer's issues. Instead, I was shocked to find an elaborate defense from him of Bhindran Wale. After that interview, I know that two farmers' unions disallowed him from taking their stage, from, from addressing uh, people from the stage. Do you believe, looking back, that there needed to be a much more unceremonious ejection and disassociation by uh, the Kisan Morchas, all of you, uh, from Deep Sindhu, that Deep Sindhu should not have been anywhere near the Red Fort, that somewhere the weakness of your movement in terms of not having one leader or a group of leaders was reflected in the fact that Deep Sindhu could not be weeded out? Abarka. To ensure that Deep Sidhu was not at the Red Fort, you would need police and intelligence, not farmers' union, because he did not go with the farmers. He did not go on any tractor. He was not part of the march. He went independently. Everyone knows that. Uh, but let me also share an incident just like you with Deep Sidhu. I did not know who this gentleman was till three and a half months ago. Uh, someone called me on his behalf. This is uh, at least one month before we came to Delhi, the march. So this must be somewhere in early November or late October. Mm -hmm. uh, they called me and said, uh, you know, Deep Sidhu would like you to come to inauguration of this uh, morcha at Shingu border, uh, at the Shambu border. This is the Ambala border. Uh, and they said he's an artist and would like you to come and, you know, the artist who's working with the farmers and would like you to inaugurate a new morcha. I agreed. I checked with someone. They said, yeah, yeah, he's an artist. And I knew artists were with him. So I agreed to do the inauguration. And then one day before that, uh, my farmer friend from Punjab, Farmers Union, started calling me up. What are you doing? Do you know who you are going to? I said, look, I, I just thought he's an artist and I saw one photograph of him with all of you. They said, no, we have banned him. Beware. He has separate his tendencies. Cancel it right now. And as you know, I'm very reluctant about canceling things that I've agreed to, even if it's your show and I'm feeling very unwell. <laughs> I, I try to keep to my uh, commitment. My friend said, no way. Uh, prestige, no prestige, commitment, no commitment. Cancel it right now. These are my farmer union friends of Punjab who said, you don't know who this fellow is. Cancel it. And I, I canceled it. That's why I discovered who Deep Siddhu is. And the fact is, Yes, there were a couple of lapses where he was allowed to get onto the stage. Uh, but when he got onto the stage on 25th of January, that was not a lapse on part of any of us. You know, the stage was physically captured using strong men. After we had finished for the day on the 25th, and police knew that this was a physical capture, which we then recaptured around 10 at night. So all this was in public knowledge. All this was in the knowledge of police. Uh, and it is not true. Deep Siddhu was not allowed to come into a single meeting that we have held of Sanyukt Kisan Morcha, the decision-making body, which meets practically every third day or so. He has yeah. not been allowed to address a single press conference because everyone was so wary of characters like him. And Barkha, you would remember, and just a little point, you know, most people forget that most of these uh, farmers unions of Punjab who are from left background, they are the ones who fought against Khalistanis. They sacrificed lives. So to now assume that they have Khalistani proclivities, that is not to know history of India. I, I, I am not assuming that the farmers have Khalistani proclivities in, 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 in the majority, but I certainly do think that about Deep Sidhu. And there's a question about Deep Sidhu from a live stream, which says Deep Sidhu made his intentions clear on the 25th night. And you also referenced to the fact that Deep Sidhu made an inflammatory speech. Why didn't you, Yogendra Yadav, 
I think he means not you individually, but the Kisan Mochas raise an alarm. Uh, you know, why did you not go public at that time? You know, do you do you feel that somewhere there needed to have been a better handling of these Sidhu type characters, and that is why what happened at the Red Fort ha happened, and you're having to atone for it as you administration. Say. I would not name the person. But you flagged you flagged Deep Sidhu's uh, speech yep. to the police, to the Delhi police, but that's very important. That, you did. That, they had captured our stage, that they were on to something very, very disturbing. This was spoken to and police officers knew about it around 11 at night on the 25th. I would not get into details. I would not name the officer. You will not name the officer? You will no, not name knew. the officer? This was not, a, this was not a secret thing. I mean, stage. What did you communicate? What did you communicate to the Delhi police? Uh, on two issues, let me put it absolutely clearly. On the Deep Sidhu episode, I was in touch with Delhi police till late night of 25th, till finally we managed to push him out of the stage. And police confirmed to me, so actually I got the information about Deep Sidhu being finally ejected from the stage from Delhi police. Police knew about it. We were in conversation with police. Number two, in fact, all kinds of suggestions came from the police. Should we switch off the light? What do we do, etc. And number two, on this organization, Punjab Kisan Majdur uh, Sangharsh Committee, uh, there were dozens of communication with Delhi police on the 25th. They were saying, uh, because this committee had given a press statement saying, we shall not abide by St. Kisan Mocha route, that we shall go to Ring Road. They had issued a video. Police got to us to say, can you persuade this fellow? We said, well, we are trying, but I don't think it's working. And we clearly indicated to police, not once, but several times, not at the lower rungs, but at a very, very high rungs, that this organization is not going to abide by our discipline. And it's between you and them. This organization is beyond our discipline. So all this was abundantly clear to police on the evening of 25th. And then what happened? And they did exactly what they said they would at 7.30 in the morning. This organization broke the barricade. This organization, and incidentally, Barka, you must have been to Singhu Border, so you know the situation. Here is a police barricade. All the farmers are behind the police barricade. But there's one organization, one very, very privileged organization, who was allowed to plant their camp beyond the barricade, which is to say on the police side, on the Delhi side. And that too, 13 days after Singhu Border Dharna began. Mm. You, can, you know police, army, security. You've done long in journalism on these things. You tell me, is that possible? 13 days after single... So what, is your, so what is your suggestion? Your suggestion is that Deep Sidhu was not your guy. He was their guy, i.e. the establishment's guy. Is that what you're saying? These are two different things we are talking about. Okay. Uh, Deep, Sidhu, Deep Sidhu and this other organization. I don't know if they are connected to each other. And can exactly. you name this? Can you name this organize this this organization? This organization is a Kisan Majdur Sangharsh Committee of Punjab, okay. led by Mr. Pannu and Mr. Pandher. These are Correct. the two members of that. Correct. Correct. The organization had made it clear 24 hours before 26th of Jan that they are going to break the barrier. Police knew about it. We had said we cannot uh, wield any discipline on them. We tried very hard. And by the evening, we said, no way they are going to do it. They are going to abide by us. And police had planted them right in front. That's what I'm saying. So my accusation is this. How come you put an organization with known extreme positions, you plant them right in front of the entire single border 13 days after the Morcha had begun? So they did not come and suddenly capture the place. Everything happened. Let on the 25th of November in a hurry. But after 13 days, was there a special understanding with the police? Why were they brought? And if so, whatever the situation, once the police knew that these people are going to break the barricade, what did the police do to stop them from doing so? On the morning of 26th, our leaders had announced that they would start at 10 o'clock. At 7.30, it begins. So once again, Barkha, at an, a known character, on the known day, at the appointed hour, was doing something. Why did the administration and police not stop him? 